Well, this was in 1952 in May. Uh, we had been on a, traveling in Europe for uh, about six weeks with my father and uh, going to a lot of, seeing a lot of different paintings in Italy and France and, and uh, some in London. And we just walked down Bond Street and with no appointment or no uh, aim in mind. When we came to the uh, art dealers, Agnews, Jeffrey Agnew said, I have something I want to show you, and you come upstairs. So we did, and it took us to a small room, a dark, very comfortable velvet-covered chairs, and we sat down, and they started to bring in pieces of art. Uh, they started out with very low quality things. The first thing they brought out was a Madonna by a follower of Botticelli. It was damaged and repainted, it was not museum quality in any way. And then they brought in the Caravaggio, this huge Caravaggio right in front of us, you know. And we were bowled over. We were just, just enthralled with it. Uh, I mean, the three of us were just very enthusiastic. And Jeffrey Agnew had come into the room by then, and he pointed out various things about the picture. I remember him particularly mentioning the dirty toenails, the dirty, dirty feet of the uh, adolescent who posed for this. You see, if you'd been living in the wilderness in bare feet, your feet would be dirty. <laughs> But uh, this brooding adolescent who was the model for the St. John the Baptist uh, probably was a, a sort of a street urchin or something. Who knows? Of course, the light was perfect on it. We, it was a darkened room where we were, but of course the light on the picture was perfect. No, it was... It was just dazzling. It was just gorgeous. And we were just uh, very, very enthusiastic. I think the composition is great. The diagonals are great. The contrast of the light and the dark is great. It heightens the drama. It's very dramatic. And the uh, scarlet cloak around him, uh, a little bit of a fur or something or other. The brooding adolescent, uh, that's dramatic, you know. It, it's, it, it's, very, it's a very dramatic painting. And it, it's beautifully composed and it's uh, beautifully done. I just feel great affection for it and admiration. <laughs> well, of course, I just love it. I, I still do, and uh, it's, it's uh, just a wonderful, wonderful painting.